uh, in this video we are going to learn about server driven UI or you can say SDUI so basically what is server driven UI uh, in today life if you have seen a very amazing or large scale applications like uh, in Pakistan we have JSCash, Easypesa and so on uh, this kind of application are changing uh, layout time to time uh, suppose today I have opened the app I am getting linear layout but tomorrow when I open the app they have changed some UI in the backend or you can say in the server uh, and without updating the uh, APK or you can say without updating the app I get the latest UI so this is how they work they basically render the UI from the server so this topic is called server driven UI uh, in this video we are uh, touching a very simple example of how to render a very basic server driven UI like you guys can see on the right side I have a very simple login screen where there are four text fields one is for name one is for email and password confirm password also there is a flutter logo and one login button so we have did it through hard coded you guys can see I have hard coded each and every widget with const keyword so how this get work when it is getting from the server so basically uh, let's get started now how we can do this first of all we have to create a map list of map with a type of string comma dynamic and I'm going to name it uh, server UI right so basically uh, we have to provide list because one screen does not contain only one component right uh, screen or you can say uh, the widget contain multiple uh, sub widgets so that's why I have wrapped with the list and each map element is basically a widget or you can say a component first of all uh, as in our current screen you can see there is flow flutter logo or let's see from there there's a size box flutter logo and then text field and one material button so first of all we have to create instance of these kind in form of map how we can do this we can do this by simply uh, making instance or you can say map with specifying type so first object that I will render is size box so how to write size box in the JSON form uh, you first of all you have to mention the type and then type of widget is sized box and inside that uh, there is another property named height so we have to specify this as well height 20.0 basically this is uh, taking a double value so you should provide here a double value right and then our first widget is ready so how we can uh, add another widget by making same object like uh, now the second object we have is flutter logo so what will be the type type will be flutter logo flutter logo and there is a size attribute inside flutter logo so we have to mention it as well size 80.0 80.0 and again a size box so we have to copy same size box over here just we have to change uh, height to 30 now after this we have a text field with the hint text as name and with the border as outline input border so we have to create this as well type text field and uh, hint hint is name and uh, yeah that's it uh, or, or we can uh, also create one another field is obscure make it false right guys uh, and after this we have another size box let's copy the same one so this is how basically uh, elements come into the form of map or json and then we are going to convert it into the uh, flutter component so we are done till here 
now email and size box again this is text field for email text field with the hint email and it should be false another size box of 10 height right and then password and confirm password so this should be of type uh, text field and of secure room yeah, this is uh, password of secure to true and we have to copy this thing again and we have to make it confirm password so you guys can see uh, how the logic is it's basically uh, every component is considered as a map object hope you guys getting my point uh, after confirm password we have size box and, and then button I'm going to copy the same size box over here and pasting right there and another is last one widget is type material button and we have hint inside it is login right so we are done with the current UI uh, what we have did so far is we have transformed this UI into the JSON format into list of map. So now how we can render this data in a widget form. So basically we have to first of all remove all components So yeah guys you can see I have removed all the components now let's create a list of widget inside the build method list of widget i'm going to name it server driven ui widgets and make it empty assign with the empty list and then we have to iterate our each element of server ui and convert this information into widget so let's do this um, server server ui is basically list is basically a list uh, now I'm going to iterate over each element of the list and converting that into the widget so there first of all I have to capture the type from the list e of type so you guys can see every element have its type so first of all I have uh, extracted the type and now I, I'm going to make a switch statement here switch which is taking time as input parameter and checking with the cases that if it is size box then do below stuff uh, what's happening yes wit switch oh sorry i have written uh, it into capital s so it was considered as a switch widget uh, if it is size box then execute this part if it is a uh, flutter logo then execute um, case for flutter logo if it is uh, text field then we will be working over here and if it is a uh, material button then we have to work on the last item so first of all how we can create size box from this information it's very simple just we have to add size box widget into this list how we can do this sdui widgets dot add and then we have to add here a size box widget sized sorry sized box yeah let's add it now we have to also get height of 20 how we can do this very simple just mention height and then e of height e is basically uh, elements from the list ui is done for the uh, size box now do same for the flutter logo mm, i'm going to sdui dot widgets dot sdui sorry dot widgets dot add flutter 
logo. Also, there is height attribute associated with the Flutter logo. Size is 80. P of size. Uh, all the components that are associated with Flutter logo type will be handled over here. Now let's see for the text field SDY widgets dot add text fields right so we have to provide decoration input decoration and for the hint we have to also get it from the E object E of hint you guys can see there is a uh, type text field and hint as a key for particular uh, hint and also there is another property called uh, obscure uh, if it is obscure true then uh, the content inside text field will be invisible i think it's outside the decoration yeah obscure text so how we can do e of obscure let me copy this so I don't do any mistake type of mistake yeah uh, and we have to provide border outline input border yeah uh, so so far we have covered size box flutter logo text field and only widget is remaining is material button now let's do it for material button as well sd ui widgets dot add material button so we have to pass hint over here as well e of hint is it hint yeah it is hint also now let's decorate it a little bit colors dot blue and width double dot infinity so yeah guys we have basically uh, converted server ui list which is consist of or you can say which is uh, made up of uh, map objects and each map object is representing uh, type which is basically a uh, widget <coughs> now we have uh, stored all the widgets inside the sd ui widgets or server driven ui widgets and then we have to parse it over here how we can do parse uh, just uh, copy element from the sd ui widgets to this list how we can do this uh, making a copy of making a copy of list is basically done by three dots so we are saying that copy list after the three dots server uh, sorry st ui widgets so yeah uh, this syntax is basically means that copy elements from sd ui widgets and paste it inside the column widget now let's how to start and yeah guys you have watched that all the elements that are inside server ui list is basically rendered over here now let's suppose uh, today you are seeing this UI, but uh, as an owner of app, I have changed my mind that now let's move the logo from top to the bottom. So what I have did, I just copy this line inside the backend and I have pasted it over here. And when you open application, so you will suddenly uh, uh, you will suddenly see a change in the application. So now let's restart. So yeah guys you can see uh, I have not changed any widget. I have not changed any hard coded widget inside the list. So basically we will be getting all this information through API call uh, which will be coming from the server. Uh, but for now I don't have any server so that's why I have. Uh, write this information inside my own class. So I hope you guys uh, have information about how to read, how to write information to the API. Uh, or if you don't have information, just comment out 
on the video i will make a video on that uh, thank you guys for watching the video uh, please share and subscribe to the channel if you have if you are new here and please like it thanks